Hello everyone! In today's video, we will explore 8 new features that our customers have been requesting. The first feature is the Delta Price column, which is disabled by default. Let's enable it, and by default, it will open on the right side. This column, as the name indicates, displays the Delta, meaning the buy traded volume minus the sell traded volume per price from the moment the depth and sales is open or we enable it in its settings. This allows us to observe the imbalance between buyers and sellers per price. Similar to other columns, the delta price column can be repositioned within the depth and sales. Additionally, in its settings, we can customize not only the colors but also a new feature in this release, which is the ability to move the histogram and text orientation to the left or right side within each cell. This feature isn't limited to the delta price column alone. It's now also applicable to the LTQ, which we will move to the left, the total at ask, let's move it also, the total at bid, which we leave as is, the ask snapshot, let's move it, the ask depth, we move it also, the current at ask, let's change it, the total at bid, we leave it as it is, the bid depth, we leave it as it is also, the bid snapshot, as is, the alert, Let's enable the histograms first and move them to the right side. And finally, the volume profile column, which will also move them to the left side. Another feature in the depth and sales is a new small horizontal line visible in the volume profile column called opening range. This feature, enabled by default, can be customized in the volume profile column settings. We can set the opening range duration, which is set to 30 minutes by default, and also choose its color. The opening range is session dependent, so since we are looking at the yes, let's open the symbol search. The default session template is the CME indices that resets when the day session starts at 9.30 a.m. Eastern and also when the overnight session starts at 6 p.m. Eastern. Returning to the current at bid and current at ask column settings, a new feature was added called clear current at bid every, in this case, the default is set to 10 seconds. Let's enable it here and also in a current at ask column. So when we enable this option, it will clear the entire column at regular intervals, which reduces distraction from outdated volume information. And when we have multiple depth and sales, they will all synchronize, ensuring simultaneous clearing when all set to the same time interval. And since we are on the topic of clearing the current trade columns, let's return to the parameter settings tab and take a look at another new feature, clear current trades outside momentum tails. Let's enable it. In this scenario, the clearing time is based on the momentum interval set in milliseconds. As the momentum tails background color fades out, the associated trades will be cleared. By default, it's set to half a second, but if you feel it is too fast, try one or let's set it to two seconds. Now you can see how slow clearing the current trades become. And lastly, in the trade column settings, a new option allow users to display the PL in ticks. So let's open a five lot position. This enables users to track gains or losses per contract. Or if we enable the show multiple ticks for multiple contracts option, we can track the total ticks based on the overall number of contracts, which in this case is five lots. Let's now look at the last two new features that are not related to the depth and sales. 
The first one allows us to ignore Journalytics SIM accounts in DayTrader. As you are aware, Journalytics allows us to create multiple SIM accounts and since it's not possible to delete these accounts, there's an option to ignore them under the Tools menu and the Journalytics platform. Previously, even if these accounts were ignored in Journalytics, they remain visible in DayTrader. Going forward, when we choose to ignore a SIM account in Journalytics, it will also be automatically ignored in DayTrader. So let's ignore this account and this one. You can see they are still available on DayTrader. Let's click Saved in Journalytics and close DayTrader. Now, after we reopen it, you can see that those two accounts are no longer available. The second feature is the ability to replay charts when using the Tradeovert replay option. So far, we could only replay the data in the depth and cells, but now we can also replay the data in the charts. In this example, we have a candlestick chart with a volume profile indicator, a footprint chart and a market profile chart. Let's stop the current replay and let's continue to replay yesterday's session, but change the time to 20 seconds before the day session starts. The charts reload as the replay begins. They start to update. And as the new session starts, we can see not only the start of a new bar, but also the start of the new profile. And there you go. Eight brand new features that we are very excited to introduce to you. We truly believe that they will elevate your trading experience. If you have liked this video, leave a thumbs up, click on the bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.